uh, it's a great time for me to stretch paper or waiting around during our hurricane. And I have gathered a bunch of um, elements to put this together. First of all, I have paper. Um, I measured it out. I already know which uh, drawing I want to put on here. And I have a bathtub um, full of water. Generally, you need a very large tub so that you can um, put the paper in and have it completely submerged. It doesn't have to be deep, it just needs uh, water enough to cover your paper. Um, I recommend never putting it so that your paper is in the tub and that you pour water on top of it. You should have it ready beforehand so that you don't um, make a soft spot or a thin spot on, directly on your paper. So you got to protect your paper edges. Um, I'm going to submerge this and while we're waiting for it to soak for um, a few minutes here, and you don't need very long. Just make sure you're in a clean tub, your hands are clean, and that it can um, soak up the water. Um, this is a 140 pound paper, and it's, it may take maybe three to five minutes submerged. Um, heavier paper takes a little bit longer. And the reason why you want to stretch your paper, you don't want to do watercolor without your paper being stretched because it takes on water and as it dries, it needs to, uh, as it's wet, it, it expands and then when it dries, it stretches out. But if you don't have it so that the edges are all um, stapled down or taped down, uh, then you'll have wavy um, a wavy surface and you want a flat surface when you're doing watercolor. So I've gathered a few things over here um, to work with. First of all, I noticed that my paper was too big so I um, cut it off. You can usually take a straight edge and just kind of tear it if you know what, what edge you want to tear it along. Um, we have a very large sponge to, to pick up the excess uh, water. And um, this is gummed tape. It has, um, I don't know if it's gum Arabic or it's got a surface to it so you can find it at a local um, art supply store. Um, I've had this for quite some time so getting one of these rolls it'll last you a long, long time. Now I don't generally stretch paper very often with using the tape. Um, a lot of times I just use a staple gun, but I do use a staple gun in addition to this so that it doesn't pull away from the edges. In my experience, um, I've had it pull out from underneath the, the tape and I don't like that to happen. But a reason for not doing this would be if I have a nice decal edge um, on the surface of the, uh, on the paper edges then I might want to show those when I'm done with the work. Those kind of paintings I try to do um, very heavy paper with so that it doesn't um, tear the paper and I repair the, um, the holes once I'm done with uh, my painting. Now I've uh, torn off these pieces of paper or the um, rolled paper with the um, so that it can be taped down. You want to have it ready to go beforehand. Okay. And um, so we're ready to roll. I also have um, a board and I've had this one obviously for a very long time. I have a handle on it that's kind of recommended to maybe put a handle so you can um, move it around, uh, you know, very easily. Uh, just with the handle. Uh, if you want to put some sort of rope or um, some tape over it, this one's, uh, I haven't done anything with it for a long time. So when you're stretching paper though, you want to have it so that the um, board, a nice sturdy thick board, enough board, um, it will uh, lay flat while it's drying. And so what I want to do check this paper and it should be ready to go because it's not um, it's not very thick paper 
I also want to make sure that you're getting it the right way. I'm looking for, along the edges, what I'm looking for is, I got this here, looking for a watermark on the paper. This one um, is by Lancorel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I can show it in the, oh, there it is. Okay, if I show it up to the light, I can generally you know, see it in the light. Lancorel. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Okay, so just going to keep that up so that it can be read. Um, it's in uh, the corner on that side. And now with the sponge, I do want to have the sponge to be wet because I don't want to damage the surface of um, the water. I read the watercolor paper. I'm going to Wrung out pretty good. All right, now just we want to um, gently, <laughs> uh, and I want to place this so that the paper, the edge of the tape of the paper, got to have it go over, be able to, to extend beyond the edge. Watercolor paper surface is, um, some are, papers are um, uh, very vulnerable to tearing or the, um, the sizing that's on the surface that keeps the watercolor right on top of the paper as opposed to being absorbed right away into the paper. Uh, so you want to be gentle with it. So some of them, it can come off very easily. Uh, Arches is pretty tough. Lang Corel, I don't have as much experience with it, but it's just a matter of dragging your um, sponge across to pick up the excess water so that it's very even all the way across. Okay, so before it dries, Next thing we want, and I've got plenty of water here, is to take the surface of the tape and just kind of dip it in in this manner so it touches a little bit. Because there will be plenty of water on it. You don't want it um, to be too much, and you certainly don't want to um, take that um, the sticky part off. All right, putting, put it, pressing it across. Is it still going? Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost done. You don't want too much water on this stuff. Here we go, we're back. So you want to Make sure that you're um, that that you. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, you want to make sure that you you work with uh, the sticky part. You don't have too much water on it, and that's why I'm not really submerging it. And you want to have measured your your drawing so that you're not really coming in on what your drawing will be. And you have actually an edge past your drawing as well. Because you could lose um, too much um, space in it and then your drawing doesn't fit. one. And you want to try and get it straight and that's not straight. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. 
All right, getting a hair in here, that's not good. All right, press down everything, and if you've dropped water back on it accidentally, you can always take your sponge. I see some spots that I dripped some water. Pressing down the tape, you may find that you squeeze out a little bit of the water from it as well. Now, some people don't do this, I always do, is to take, um, you don't need a big staple deck gun. This one I can do myself. I don't have that much strength in my hands, but this is a good one. And you start from the middle. Ooh, <laughs> might not have any left. That's the question. No, there's none there. I did it. <laughs> okay. I thought you refilled it. Oh, okay. No, apparently not. Well, in any case, and I'm seeing a little extra water right here, and you want to um, hit it in the middle, from the middle out in each edge, middle out each edge. They can be, you know, three to five inches um, apart, but closer to the edge of your um, uh, paper tape. And allow it to dry flat, and then you're ready to um, get a drawing transferred on or drawn directly onto your paper. And that's how we stretch paper. Be patient.